Hey everyone, it's Sandy and this video is for Michelle. She had um, messaged, me, messaged me on Facebook Messenger to see if I could um, tell her kind of what you need to do or to have for Project Life. She, from what I understand, she doesn't do any scrapbooking. She's never done Project Life, so she was kind of asking me to compare Smashbooking to Project Life and kind of like what would you need to get started. So I'm just going to, I don't, I'm not doing Project Life yet this year. Uh, I've done my little mini book and I've shown January on that, but I have have quite a few pictures. I think I still am going to use the album and like the system to scrapbook like a lot of my loose pictures, but I'm not going to do like week one, week two, week three. So. This is kind of a basic video, but it's going to be for Michelle. I told her I would put it up yesterday, but I got too busy, so um, I told her I would put it up today. So, the best thing I can tell you is to go look at... Okay, sorry. Um, so, if the best thing I can tell you is to go look at BeckyHiggins.com. She is actually, and here's her name on the box, she is actually the creator of the system for uh, Project Life. And if you go to her website, there's like a little, I think a two to three minute video on just showing you like the simplest way you can put an album together. And also, she has like a design team who probably posts pretty regularly, regularly, um, if not process videos and they'll just show like their process on a blog or something like that. Um, and the other thing is too is if you just type in Project Life on YouTube you will get tons of uh, stuff come up. Lots of information. I know um, a couple of people that I watch, I wrote their names down, I cannot find my notes that I had. But I know I wrote down Kitty Scrapper because she started it again this year. I believe she took a year off. And she started it again this year and she's been pretty consistent showing her week by week and she just had a video up this morning uh, on that so kitty there's melissa who also does project life on there um there's several ladies i'll pick four to five people who are just up in my feed on youtube right now and i'll list them below in the info like their channel and you can go ahead and look them up because they're doing it consistently like right now um, so, according to Becky, all you need is like the Project Life kit. This is a mini kit. You can get a big old box, which comes with like 540 cards, but there's like a lot. You get like a whole bunch of duplicates of this size, and you get a, maybe like 10 of each design on this side. So, I don't know. To me, that's too much. I like her mini kits, which are like this. And uh, like this is by a designer called Amy Tangerine, and it's a plus one edition. I love this one. It's just it suits my style. Very bright, very fun colors. I really like it. So you would need this, like something similar to this. They sell kits like this. They sell even smaller kits like that that have 40 paid 40 uh, cards in there, and they can be themed or what have you. And um, you can pick these up at Hobby Lobby, Joann's. Or Michaels and you can use coupons on them as well too so keep that in mind you need your pictures so you all you have to do is print out your pictures you can edit them um, sometimes well I like to print a lot of my pictures 4x4 like Instagram size but the ones I do have 4x6 sometimes I just cut them down to fit the pocket and I'll show you my book from last year you need your album. This one I picked up from Michaels. It's just the Heidi Swap and I like the black and white one. So um, I'm going to start picking up an album or two every week so I can start getting my layouts put into albums. So this is just one I haven't opened yet. So you're going to need that. And then you're going to need... Uh, you're going to need Project Life pages. Now this is just the Project Life end. These are the page protectors that you slip your pictures and stuff into. Uh, there's a lot of brands out there. There's Recollections brand, We Are Memory Keepers, Photo Freedom. They're all the same. But basically, I'm just going to pull out a whole bunch right here. And I'll flip through them. Uh, there's different configurations you can come up with. So like, see this configuration? I don't know if you can see it on here. Maybe on this darker one. Yeah. So this one you can slip like 4 by 6s right here and the 3 by 4 cards here. So depending on your pictures, you know, you can do it whichever way you want. So let's say, I think this is upside down. Well, maybe not. There we go. So this is a Becky Higgins. Oh, they go from the side. So like if I wanted, I could journal on this card right here. 
and I could go through my pictures and see if I have that's the thing is I take a lot of my pictures horizontally and not vertically so then I could there's a vertical slot right here now obviously I would make sure that these match a little bit better I'm just showing you what you could do like the simple way of doing it so I want to put a few pictures and then maybe I want to put a couple cards I could cut down like one of these pictures and put it in the four by six right here so you would need like a paper trimmer or you can get your four by six cards that come in the pack and you can put them slide them in here as well and you can you know use them for journaling or what, whatever you want so i'm just trying to show you what it would look like so there you would have a page complete obviously any of these could be pictures any of these could be cards it doesn't matter so um that's one way you can put your page together so you need your pictures you need some stock some uh page protectors which you can get at Hobby Lobby and there's different configurations this is like I think style A where it has the two four by sixes right here and the three by fours that go right there I think if you're just starting off just a basic one like this would be perfect um, you can find the style you want as you go but just you know so you don't put a lot of money into it pick a basic style like this and then you know once you get started you'll kind of get the feel of what you want so you need that now that's just a basic way of doing it right you can always buy stamps from Michaels Joann's Hobby Lobby there's tons of online shops that you can pick up stuff at this is from a freckle fawn kit that I get and it's, it has embellishments and it has a stamp so you can get stamps you might need some scissors so you can cut your pictures down like three by fours or you can invest in like a paper trimmer you'll also need some adhesive I have my ATG gun but if I was just beginning out scrapbooking, I would just get some little tape runners, which unfortunately I don't have one to show you because I just use this one basically. Um, you can get pick up some inks for stamping. Um, I'm trying to find some ink around here. Some inks, maybe some like little, you can put embellishments. There's just so much you can do and it's hard to like tell you in like 10 or 15 minutes, you know what you can do. My best idea for you is to go look on YouTube, search a whole bunch of, I'll, like I said, I'll put four or five people below of who are in my feed right now with Project Life videos. So, Michelle, I hope that helps you out a little bit. I know me and you did talk. I'm going to send you a little box. I have tons of 3 by 4 cards, tons of stamps I don't use, things like that. I'm going to try and put you like a little goodie box. Um, I won't send an album or pages because I don't want to send a big, you know, 13 by whatever box. But I will send you some other stuff to get started with stickers and things like that. But if you have any questions, just message me. And my all I can do is just tell you is to watch other people's channels who are doing it right now. I'll flip through really quick on my, this is mine from last year. Let me get this light out of the way. So see, I started with like a screenshot and it said 2012. This one's not too embellished. I put a little sticker, a little bit of sequence, and I journaled. And see, they even have pages that are not 12 by 12 size. They're, I don't know what size. They're bigger than an 8, maybe a 9 by 12 or something like that. Um, you can make it. See, I used thickers right here. I used a little stamp. Um, yeah, you can make it as basic as you want or you can just like go full force and get little stickers and write on them you can stamp on them you can do tons of stuff and basically for me project life was documenting a lot of the little things like my parents are leaving well I wouldn't make they visited they were leaving I wouldn't make that into a big 12 by 12 spread this is when I went to work in a shop from downtown Chattanooga I got glasses that day um I like Starbucks and I got a I was going to get one more star to gold level. Just little moments like that. And when I go back and I flip through it, I really appreciate having this one because it's just a lot of little. See, we had snow that day. Now these, like I probably did make a 12 by 12 layout, but it was still fun to include in here. So it's just basically capturing your little moments on, you know, what to do. Now, as far as smash booking, I don't have any of my smash bookings out. She was asking me if I thought smash booking or uh, Project Life, like which one would be better? To me, smash booking is more random. Like you don't really go in an order, like you know, page after page after. You can flip to the back of the book, stick down pictures and journal, do whatever. You can just—it just seems more random than Project Life. So 
I don't know. I will put, if you look up Smashbooking and YouTube, tons of stuff will show up as well. I know there's one, I think her name's Taylor Ann, that I follow, and she does a lot of Smashbooking. So um, I will try and, excuse me, I will try and remember to put her channel name below too. So anyways, I'm just flipping through. I mean, I don't know what else to say. There's just so, you can do as much as you want. You can do as little as you want. My um, advice to you is to start off with a little core kit. Like, get your pictures. Like, if you want to start off with this year. So my advice to you is to print out your January pictures that you want. Let's say these were my January pictures. Then I would go ahead and pick one little mini kit out. Or you can wait till <laughs> my box arrives to you because it will have some of these cards in there. And get the page protector and just go from there. So I hope that helps a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm not doing Project Life right now. But like I said... I don't know, sometimes I feel like jumping back into it, especially when I look at this book, like there's so many little moments in it. And I know like I'm doing this little mini book, but I was talking to Lisa, this is just more of like my stuff, what's going on with me, because I snap a lot of pictures of what's happening with me like at work or at home, because throughout my day I don't have the kids all day. So, you know, it's selfies of me and whatever. So I was telling Lisa, I may make these little books like with my little moments and go back to Project Life for a family breakdown of our whole year. So um, if I do a layout, if I do go back into Project Life, you'll see it back in my channel. But um, I hope that helps you out. I'm sorry if it wasn't a big help to you, but ask me any questions that you want. I will answer. If you want me to talk about something else pertaining to Project Life, just leave it in the comments below or message me. Um, I can I can do it either way you want. So I hope this helped a little bit and I hope you guys have a good night and I will talk to you later. Bye.